Okay, so you've drawn dt graphs, you found the slope of dt graphs, you've probably made um, a velocity time chart, and then you draw a velocity time graph. Now we want to look at this graph and figure out what it's doing. What you got to remember is, the first thing is, a uh, velocity time graph tells you how fast you're going at any given time. So the positive would mean forward, so the velocity is 2 meters per second positive would mean that you're running that way. A velocity of negative 2 meters per second would mean you're running that way. So let's take a look at this graph, and I want to find the slope and see what that gives us. Well, to find the slope, we've got to create a triangle. So I'm going to do that. It doesn't look perfect because I'm not doing this on graph paper. But to find the rise, well, my rise is, I go over here, it's 8 minus 2, which is 6, and the units are meters per second. Be careful of the units because on a DT graph, this means something different, and the units are quite different. Let's look at the run. The run here is going to be 4 minus 1, which is 3, and the units are seconds. So I've got my rise, 6 meters per second, my run is 3 seconds. So the slope equals rise over run. So it's 6 divided by 3, and that was meters per second and seconds there. So that ends up being the slope is 6 divided by 3 is positive 2 meters per second per second. Well, what does meters per second per second mean? Well, we write that as 2 meters per second square, that's the units, those are the units of acceleration, and the positive means it's forward, so I write forward there, or if um, this graph was labeled east, which it is, I probably should really write 2 meters per second square east. So that is the slope, and the slope is equal to the acceleration. The acceleration means we're speeding up. Positive means we're accelerating in that direction. And I don't want to get too far into this, but the idea is if I'm accelerating that way and I'm running that way, then I must be getting faster. If I'm accelerating this way, but I'm running this way, then I'm getting slower. But the basic idea is you need to know that the units are going to be meters per second squared. The slope of a VT graph gives us acceleration, and in this case I calculated it was positive, so 2 meters per second squared forward or uh, 2 meters per second squared east. Now let's take a second to describe what this object is doing in this graph. We've calculated the slope and we said the slope is 2 meters per second squared, but let's remember we look at what type of graph it is, what the numbers tell us, and what the slope tells us. So let's look at uh, what type of graph it is. The VT graph tells me how fast I'm going at any given time. So at 0 seconds, I'm going 0 meters per second, so I'm not moving at all. At 1 second, I go up there and I go across and it's 2, 2 meters per second, it's positive, so it's east, so I'm running forward or east at 2 meters per second, so I'm going faster, I was not moving, now I'm moving. At 2 seconds, I go up here, and I go across, and I'm going 4 meters per second, positive, so it's east. So I wasn't moving, I'm running 2 meters per second that way, then I'm running 4 meters per second that way. I must be speeding up, so I am accelerating. If I look at the slope, the slope is a number, it's a positive number, and so I am accelerating. This agrees with what the numbers are telling me. So in this case, I'm moving forward and I'm accelerating in a positive direction. Let's try a couple of other VT graphs and see if we can come up with what they're doing.